those things are wired up and can't move around, like how they were fabled to back in the day. In fact, you are sitting in the original Freddy Fazbear's Pizza right now. Is that neat? The owners of this location sold the property to Fun Frights Incorporated while they're looking for a place to build their new attractions. So what a coincidence that the old pizza place was here. How perfect for an old creepy restaurant to be in this exact area. The land was very cheap too. I mean the building was so messed up that they had to either destroy it or attempt to renovate it. Of course they were going bankrupt. So they decided to try selling it leading to where you currently are. Speaking of the building being in poor condition, we've had to work in renovating parts of it already. Almost everything is complete but the power died shortly after we started renovating. We have resorted to using a generator, so, uh, make sure you don't run out of generator energy. If you do, just try to find a flashlight or something. It's looking pretty spooky in there, so good luck with that. Oh, man. Uh, oh, yeah. I guess I have to read the safety packet to you. Uh, alright. Welcome to Fredbear's Fright, the latest and greatest horror attraction featuring actual relics from the original diners, where mysteries about the events were tragic, but not certain. In case of any sort of injury or harm inflicted by an animatronic occurs, we are not to be held responsible as it is your own fault doing so. If the chance of a person has turned up missing or has a fatal event happened within our premises, the location of that event will be cleaned up after the attraction's running hours, blah blah blah. What a bunch of nonsense. I mean, I could understand injuries if someone was just plain old dumb with our equipment, but to die in our building? That's ridiculous. Our animatronic should be just fine. Uh, anyways, let's finish up on how you have to work the place. So to your left, you have a big old door thing from the old Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. It's used to close off guests while they're playing the flashlight game next to your office. It makes a cool transition from when they leave the game and enter the office. And finally, to your right, you have a false vent that you can shut once the guests have exited. We don't want them coming back through, or something like that? I don't know. Alright, I'll leave you to it now. See you on the flip side.
so I have some pretty good news right now. We have been working on the animatronic programming and they seem to be working a bit now. That prototype animatronic endoskeleton is starting to be able to turn around and stuff now, along with a few others having some movement now. I think that's pretty cool. Do you think so? Uh, okay. Time for a bit more info on things you can operate in your office. So, do you see that pullable lever on the office's ceiling? You can use that to fill up your spray bottle in the morning when you have to go clean up the animatronics. Make sure to only clean the joints, as getting liquids on the animatronic parts themselves could damage the electronics inside, or even mess up the coating. I know it's silly to have that lever right there instead of a sink, but I guess that doesn't really matter. Okay, you have a camera system to look at on your laptop, which also is a half-restored thing from Freddy Fazbear's. You can check the rooms as people go through the attraction, and make sure that no one goes into the attic or somewhere they shouldn't be. Also keep an eye on prototype. It seems to move a bit at random times, so just look at it from time to time to make sure it doesn't fall over. Then there's an animatronic moveset operator to the right of your office, which is still a work in progress. That should eventually make an animatronic do something spooky when you enter a certain code. All this stuff should be complete in nearly a week. So if something doesn't work correctly, or you see some boxes laying around, those things will be worked on. Programming the animatronics and working on the building functions will be our top priority for the next couple of days. Alright, I'll be getting some shot eye. Good night.